Hi guys, welcome. My name is Anna. I'm a clinical psychology doctoral candidate and on this channel usually we talk about real life applications to psychology, but today we're doing a little bit something more fun. I'm actually going to be looking at this Why do men love Eastern European women article because I've been seeing a lot of these floating around and honestly they're a little bit insulting to me as an Eastern European woman. If you don't already know, I am Romanian. That is in Eastern Europe. Uh, you guys seem to enjoy the videos I make related to my ethnicity and I certainly do as well. They're really fun. So let's dive right into this insulting article. So right off the bat, I'm noticing that the photos that they went with are very stereotypical Eastern European. So give me a second, let me get into my costume. There we go, now I'm Eastern European. Dating culture worldwide is not the same, but there are things and beliefs that European women possess thoroughly. This attracts men to them from different corners of the world. Okay, so far so good, yes, dating culture does depend on culture and there are aspects about different women in different regions that I'm sure attract different people. To know the secrets of the Slavic women's charm, continue to read ahead and feel blessed to find the dream girl of your choice in absolutely no time. Okay, so right off the bat, I have to say Slavic is not the same thing as Eastern European, for example. I am Eastern European, but I am not Slavic. I am Romanian. We're surrounded by Slavic peoples, you know, there are a lot of Slavic cultures within Eastern Europe, but there are also a lot of others, such as Romanian, Albanian, Macedonian, Turkish, Greek, and so forth. So when you're conflating cultures like that, it's really not a good look. It's like saying, this is why you should date East Asian women, and then just talking about Chinese women. Their honesty is spellbinding. If you are already tried dating Western, my man, <laughs> fix your grammar. If you are already tried dating Western or Eastern most women in the world who might have ended up playing mind games with you, try out the English women who will know how to keep your interest floating. What does that even mean? I literally don't understand this paragraph. There are chances that it all goes down to their parenting or the culture they are grown up in. So European women are quite honest about their choices in life. So now we're saying not just Slavic women, not just Eastern European women, but European women in general, okay. Be it in dating or marriage, they will always be upfront and still be polite in their tone. <laughs> That's hilarious. We are very honest peoples, yes, to a fault. Um, every time, you know, someone tells me they knew a Romanian person when they meet me and ask, oh, what was that person like? They usually say, um, very direct. <laughs> um, yeah, no, polite is not a word I would use to describe Eastern European people. This is what draws the attention of potential single men like them. In the end, you will always have a better and quality time in getting to know an English or another woman in the neighboring European country. Is this, is this person a native English speaker that wrote this? How did this get posted? Their maintenance is easy and smooth. At times, women who are uptight and ask for too many favors can get onto your nerves. Slavic women don't opt for that. They will always be cheerful and hopeful about life. It can also be because the whole European region knows how to enjoy life in the most lavish style instead of working for peanuts. I've never heard the expression working for peanuts. Maybe that's just because I'm foreign, but um, <laughs> this is quite a generalization. I mean, first thing, discrediting women who are uptight um, and ask for too many favors. I'm not really sure what's that referring to and is he associating that with a specific culture? Like, is he saying English women are like that or something? Um, Slavic women don't opt for that? My dude, have you ever actually met an Eastern European woman? Um, we are not always cheerful and hopeful about life. In fact, I have this conversation with my family quite frequently about how it's very easy for, at least in Romanian cultures, we get a little bit negative, you know, the glass is always half empty. And I would not say cheerful or positive or optimistic or hopeful are words that accurately describe us if you were to describe us as a group, which, you know, inherently erases all of our diversity as well. Also, I think it's a bit of a stereotype that the whole European region knows how to enjoy life in the most lavish style. This honestly kind of sounds like a caricature of like 
someone that follows a couple of Russian models on Instagram and thinks that everyone's like chilling with tigers and diamonds and dining on the 85th floor of a building or something. That is not how the vast majority of people in Eastern Europe live. Actually, most of them are in villages. Hence, if you are looking for a bridge like the ones on bestbrides.net, oh, I didn't know they sell bridges on bestbrides.net. Do not hesitate to go and check out the potential European brides available online. That's creepy. That rubs me the wrong way. I mean, obviously this wasn't gonna be a reputable website, but it really bothers me to see women objectified like that. In the majority of the cases, we can also say that these women will value your time and money. I don't know what that means. I'm not even going to speculate. Way they are pretty straightforward and easy to manage. Easy to manage, okay. <laughs> this tells a lot of their personality. They wouldn't compare you with others, and they know how to live in the present. Hence, you wouldn't think about clinging onto them unnecessarily when you are not in the mood to hang out. See, this is the problem with making such broad stroke statements, is that like I, for example, an Eastern European woman, struggle greatly with keeping in the present. Like I am always thinking about the future, and actually pretty much every Eastern European woman I know is the same. And I realize I just did what I said I shouldn't do, which is, you know, to paint with a broad stroke. My point is that this statement is at best an overgeneralization and at worst very inaccurate. Also, Eastern European families are very enmeshed where, you know, boundaries don't really exist. The idea that a woman from Eastern Europe would know how to respect your boundaries is not something I would say is our strong suit. The ultimate benefit of dating such kind of European women is that you get your space and she gets her space too. Okay, I mean, if you say so. I mean, I guess I can see how like Eastern European women are maybe a little more independent, but once you're actually in a relationship with them or have a family with them, space is not something you have in an Eastern European household. They have a stunning personality. And then he's showing this photo of a woman with a stunning personality. One of the many things that fabulously stupendous about European women, again, oh my god, this is so hard to read. This is like one of those uh, cognitive tasks where you're supposed to see the error in the sentence and you're supposed to see if your brain just kind of sweeps over it, is that they know how to carry themselves in different situations and locations. Their total personality is attractive, spellbinding, and beguiles every man to spend time with them repeatedly. Oh, you know us, we get you beguiled to spend time with us repeatedly. That being said, a date during the day or night is always full of surprises or charm when you are about to go out with a Slavic young lady. So if you are a single man, you would be dying to spend time with her in person because of the way she talks, walk, and eats impressed you from the first meeting. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't realize how bad this article was. It is suffice to say, when you are dating such a woman in your life, your personality will have a chance to evolve and improve if there was earlier a need. Okay. Eventually, a European woman's personality trait and nuances will happily grow onto you if you want to live your life king size through and through. You know, the funny thing about personality is it is so varied, there is so much diversity in people's personality traits that when you make such a sweeping statement about an entire half of a continent, it's pretty much bound to be inaccurate. They are the most poised and feminine. Another reason why men go gaga over a woman who belongs to Eastern Europe is that they are superb and poised. They know how to behave like a true English lady and how to treat her man simultaneously. Well, I'm confused. Are you talking about Eastern European diaspora in England specifically, or are you now switching to English women? I'm really confused by this article. Also, yeah, I kind of would agree that Eastern European women tend to be a little bit more on the feminine side in appearances. In um, personality, I'm not so sure. I mean, what people usually think of as a feminine personality is someone like kind of meek and quiet, which is honestly kind of like what I'm like, but that's very much temperamental for me. I am <laughs> nothing like most Eastern European women who are quite assertive, quite loud, quite vocal about what they want. Actually, a lot of people that have met my family like to joke that I don't really say much because everyone else in my family says 
enough for me. <laughs> so, you know, in terms of like what people tend to think of, like a submissive feminine image of a personality, I would say that's not accurate for Eastern European women. I would say actually Eastern European women are more on the masculine end of that personality trait. Um, but in terms of just like physical appearance, sure. In other words, the way she speaks, grates texts or behave around with, oh, sorry, I have to read this over. In other words, the way she speaks, grates texts or behave around with you will all be mesmerizing and compel you to ask her out again and again. If you love the delicacy in women, you must always date European women. They are known for their calmness, poise bearing, and the stunning appearances. We are not known for our calmness whatsoever. If you love the delicacy in women, find a delicate woman. They exist in all parts of the world, um, and it's not something necessarily cultural. This is honestly kind of a bit fetishizing of like people who say Eastern European and East Asian women are like submissive and delicate and all that good stuff. That is not at all an accurate rep representation of these cultures. It can also be because the whole European continent is brimmed with fine dining, whining, and the fashion industry. Like I said, most of the European continent is not as industrialized, I would say, as America. So women belonging to the topmost known European countries like Poland, Hungary, Russia, Romania, Austria, etc. Austria is not in Eastern Europe. Austria is in Central Europe. Refrain from any unwanted activities or conversation, but they are always up for intelligent conversations, sizzling romantic walks, and remarkable candlelight dinners like a true European resident. Um, I don't know what to say about that. It seems like quite a romanticized version of Eastern European women. As for the refraining from unwanted conversations, I would not say that's true. Like whenever I've been out and about in Romania, there are always people that want to talk to me, usually older Romanian ladies, and they're very sweet. And sometimes I don't really want to engage with a stranger in a conversation, but it's considered rude not to. And it's actually quite common for just strangers in Romania to approach you and want to talk to you. They are goal-oriented and highly committed. Due to the unhealthy relationships with the Eastern European men, mm, so you're gonna save us from the unhealthy Eastern European men? That's like a white savior complex, but towards Eastern European women. Many European women, especially belonging to the Eastern region itself, are now goal-driven. They were earlier beaten and abused by those men, but over the period, they have learned to grow a spine and take a stand in front of the whole world. First of all, the abuse of women has existed across the entire globe. It is not something specific to any one region. Certainly some regions at some points in time are worse off than others, but I would not say Eastern Europe is necessarily as bad as other places right now and certainly we don't need to be saved and bought off as a bride also the notion that we need to grow a spine and take a stand in front of the whole world sounds a bit victim blaming sounds like women before that were just kind of letting the abuse happen to themselves that they were you know in part to blame for allowing this to happen to them so these women will never be dependent on you at a stretch oh is that what this is about is this about like oh um i don't want a woman to take my money or something they know what they want to do in their life and how to achieve it in fact at times they might even inspire you when you get to talk to them while going on a date yeah, I would hope your date is inspiring to you. I would think you can find that in a number of different women from a number of different cultures. Even so more, they are committed that they will be the perfect bridge for most men from the Western or Eastern continents. They love to indulge in enriching conversations because it enables them to know about the latest trend in the world. So if you are looking for a woman who knows her business and place, in the whole world, you don't have to go too far. You hear this again, a woman who knows her place. Again, this notion that women from Eastern Europe are like submissive or like not a lot to deal with or like won't expect you to respect them, like these awful heinous women in the West. Visit various online dating and marriage making websites to set your date for the night or forever, depending on how you can allow the conversation and the private time with that European women go. 
European women are everything that a man can look for in a woman for his lifetime. That is what keeps every man on his toes to impress the dream girl, the European way. That's setting the bar not high at all. I'm trying to see, is this person actually Eastern European? Because why is the English so bad? That's, that's not an Eastern European name to my knowledge. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys, I'm sorry I'm being so sarcastic today. It's just that this article is so damaging to Eastern European and to women both separately and combined. And I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be nice in the face of such borderline xenophobic, misogynistic content. Hope you enjoyed this. There are so many articles like this out there. If you want me to make more, if you found this entertaining, let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.